Hi, it's Kathy Hampton from Wellside Retreats. Welcome back to my channel. Wellside Retreats is a transformational destination retreat and life coaching service. I help black women move away from what no longer serves them and move toward what will serve them well. If this is the first time that you have dropped in or seen my channel or seen me on YouTube, welcome to the channel again. Um, I would appreciate if you are at all interested in wellness, um, any aspects of wellness as it relates to black women over 50 years of age. If you know someone who could benefit from um, my discussion about wellness issues and in the transformational changes that women go through, I'd appreciate you liking, subscribing to, ringing the notification bell, and again, sharing the, uh, sharing my station, my channel, <laughs> my channel or my, um, or my videos. I'd appreciate it. And you'll be made aware when I come back on with new, um, new videos, um, you'll be able to see them if you subscribe to the channel. So today's video is about basically my perspective of uh, a healthy divorce or my healthy perspective about divorce, on divorce. Yeah, my pretty much healthy uh, perspective on, on divorce. Some people um, couldn't even imagine that I'd be talking about divorce because it's something that, you know, it's kind of taboo to talk about. But I decided that anything that you need to get off your chest and share with people to let them know kind of like the real deal or be authentic about things that happen in your life that many humans go through, um, but, you know, are, are, aren't really discussing because of, of, you know, fear, shame, uh, all the lower level feelings and emotions about tough topics like money and, you know, and also divorce included in that. Um, I decided that it should be talked about. So my healthy perspective about it all is that, you know, once you stop grieving about the loss of a, a relationship, um, it really, uh, and the dust settles, it really is helpful to, uh, to someone when the dust starts settling and you can start feeling uh, a sense of relief that all of those emotions are over, you know, um, in what I will call, and many people call a, a long marriage ending in, in divorce. And that's usually 30 years and over. If you've been married for that long and then, you know, then there's a sudden change in the relationship. It's hard on people. And, you know, especially women, you know, who are nearing their fifties or in their fifties, sixties, sometimes 70 years old, people are getting divorces. And, um, it plays a real impactful um, part of their lives, especially if they're moving into retirement. Um, you know, it, it, it becomes, you're questioning a lot of things. Um, I recently um, heard about this uh, other YouTuber, her name is Sheila, and her, her um, YouTube channel is Sheila Outside and travel. Sheila outside and travel. Sheila talked about her healthy perspective about a, her and her husband divorcing and the dilemma she is now having about retirement. You know, um, she and her uh, husband were married for 20 some odd years and divorced. And, you know, she's gotten over the real hard parts of that and they're they're friendly with one another they care about one another um and um you know they've moved on but she explained basically that you know you you go through these tough times after divorce and then you you start settling down and become happy 
with how things have landed, so to speak. So after, after the grieving part, and this is where I talk about the good stuff about it all, is that um, you grieve, you go through this roller coaster of emotions. That's what griefing is when, when there is any loss. Um, not just only death, but loss of, of, of a loved one through divorce or, or you're grieving yourself um, and you're trying to find yourself. Well, that happens. That's the good part. The good juicy part is that you, you take time and you start, in, start learning about yourself in this new life that you are, are living. You, you know, you learn how to take care of yourself only um, because you've got these children, these young adult children who are, are living their lives. So you have to start living your life also. Um, you start thriving. You start actually thriving and figuring it all out on your terms. You become a new person to yourself. You reveal yourself to yourself. Um, I do that. I have done that through journaling. And um, over the years, I've written about um, myself. Um, I've been introspective. I've been still enough to hear that small voice deep down inside who I know is, is spirit, God, and um, getting to know myself and learning um, about myself almost every day because I am no longer part of a unit. I am an individual by myself. And what you find when you start knowing who you are, there's this freedom about yourself. There's this freedom, you flying almost, you know, um, and you you get to choose things for just yourself. Um, and then you live. You live well. You start living the life that you want, that you create or recreate. Um, and, you know, putting things together. Now, I'm not going to tell you that it's all easy. It's not. But after a short period of time, once you stop the grieving process, and grief is different from everyone, it, for everyone. It is, it, is, it is, some people don't even grieve. Some people are celebrating right out of the, out of the, you know, settlement agreement. Um, <laughs> uh, or after they are separated. Uh, but, you know, for others, it takes time to get over um, over this newness, this true separation of, of two people, separation of things, material things, property, you know, that came together and you separate it all. Um, even separation sometimes from those people that you got to know during the marriage. So, you know, there's loss of, of, of friends. Some friends don't stick around, you know, or, or you don't hear from them or it, it just really is, is something it's, it's, it's a whole nother world. And um, because all of that happens in a short period of time um, and there's grief going on along with it, some people don't feel that they can get past that step. But um, I'm going to encourage you that there is life after a golden divorce. There is, um, there is so much. You get to choose how you want to live your life. It becomes, um, for me, a decision that I made and I, I you know, prayed, meditated, uh, journaled about it. Um, I walked it out, so to speak. I uh, took long, long walks, hikes, people would say. 
I did some uphill climbing to feel, um, feel good about myself, my new life, my situation. And um, yeah, it, it, it has evolved. Um, was I clear all the time? No, no, not all the time. However, uh, and then there are dilemmas as Sheila outside in travel says, she has a dilemma about, about basically retiring. You know, how do you support yourself at retirement age? How do you, how do you do all of that stuff? Well, it comes to you. It comes to you. You make plans. You, you consult with people who know. You don't isolate yourself. You do not do that. In fact, one of the things that happens when you isolate yourself is that you stop growing. Your mind actually is not exercised because you don't have conversation or interaction and there isn't that level of uh, that the, the cognitive skills that you have start to diminish. So don't isolate yourself. I'm, I'm here to tell you that that is not going to be helpful to you. Um, every plant needs some sunshine and even the moon to grow uh, and thrive. So you want to finish grieving, you want growth. So you need to get out and mingle a little bit. Um, what I will not, kind of like a side note, what I don't encourage you to do is to rebound and to, I, I don't encourage that, but you know, I'm, I'm not uh, a, a therapist. What I am is a, is a, a life coach and sometimes the, the information that I read about and, uh, and know is that rebounding is, is you, you not allowing yourself to learn about yourself if you rebound into another relationship quickly after, after divorce. Um, doesn't mean that you, you know, you don't date or, or anything. Um, it's everybody's choice, but for a healthy and, uh, a, a, the healthy aftermath of, of a, a divorce, uh, grief, you grieve, you grow, you start to thrive, you know, live, and then there's, you know, freedom all along in that. Freedom to choose, freedom to be, freedom to, to explore, freedom to learn, you know. Um, and that is what is so great about what is to come afterwards. If you are questioning what is there after, you know, a long marriage and the, you know, and a divorce that ends it all. Well, there's life, lots of life to live. And uh, if you want more information, I'm gonna be placing uh, information about what happens after a golden divorce or I'll put it in the, in the description so that you can go and get a, a document that I've created um, that will let you know um, if you need to pin it up on, you know, your refrigerator or a bulletin board, um, it's, it, it is time that people stop um, socializing after heartbreak and heart, um, you know, the, the, the crush of your heart. Um, it's time to live. It really is time to live. Um, figuring out retirement, figuring out, you know, where you're going to live, figuring out how to design your life. That is what you need to start doing and not isolating yourself. There's time for you to grow no matter, no matter what. Love yourself. Turn within and love yourself. That's what I wanted to share with you today. And if you know someone who is experiencing maybe some, a separate a potential sep separation from their marriage, not yet, yet quite divorced, <laughs> uh, 
um, um, let them know about this video. I encourage even people who are separating, you know, when separation is a period um, where you do a lot of introspection and you get in touch with yourself and you just decide what you want. You decide whether or not to continue the marriage, file for divorce, whatever you, you decide you want to do, you, you do that. But I want to encourage those people in the, in the, in the gap to really go within and think about what you want. Um, do the grieving. You can you, you grieve through this pro that process also. But spend time with yourself. Get to know yourself more as an individual. Whether or not you want to see things through, you know, there's couples therapy during that 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 time. Hopefully, both parties will be amenable to that depends some people some people are not amenable to therapy but if you are you go go and get therapy for yourself um there's a therapist um for every price tag at every price tag go find someone you can afford to speak with someone who you think that you can work with interview them uh, make sure that they um, basically have your best interest at heart. I know that you at this time need to be your best friend in discerning who is good and good, who is not good for you to speak to. So um, a lot of times during this real shaky period, people aren't aware and open to discernment as to who is for them and who is not for them. So um, that's really important for you to get to know. I, um, I walked into therapy, um, the first, no, the second person I called uh, who was able to schedule an appointment with me and all she could ask me was who's getting the house. Yeah, she wasn't, she wasn't concerned with my emotions, my feelings, how to cope with them. She gave me no resources. She <laughs> she just wanted to know where the money was coming from, I guess, so that she could get paid. I, I mean, I was paying for her services. It was actually, yeah, I paid for her, her, her one hour. It was horrible. So be very discerning when finding a therapist. I did a lot of self-help. I read all kinds of books until I found someone. Um, <laughs> and... Um, and that was a very short-lived relationship, but I made it through. And, um, and you know, re-established uh, or established a relationship with the therapist. Um, and yeah, was able to, to make it through uh, with friends and uh, good people who I knew were on, um, on my side, so to speak. When I say that, not not on my side between me and and um, my former husband, but was thinking of me and not themselves, not judging, not um, shaming. You don't need any of that. So the purpose of this was about a healthy perspective on divorce. And the healthy part of it comes in the form of, of finding things that will grow you, will continue to provide so, so that you can thrive, um, so that you can freely live and make choices for yourself and learn how to love and care for yourself. Those are the healthy perspectives um, on divorce after after divorce and after the grieving process. So I wish you well with all of that. Um, there is uh, a rainbow at the end of, of all of it. And life is great. Um, life is truly great on your terms. If you're open to, to putting in the work to heal yourself and thrive. So with that being said, 
Uh, thanks for, for uh, visiting with me. Thanks for tuning in. Please be sure to share this and look in the description box for materials um, that will help you, resources, including Sheila outside and travel, her video also. Thank you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.